Hi, I am Saradhi and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to generate the key tab files to be used with Power Center when we are enabling Kerberos authentication for the Power Center server. Uh, it is the responsibility of the Kerberos administrators to generate the key tab files and provide the Informatica administrators with these key tab files. So I am going to explain the basic of uh, the syntax required for generating key tabs to be used with Power Center. Now to generate the key tab files we need to use Microsoft's utility called ktpass. A ktpass is usually available on the Kerberos server or if you install it will be available on other Windows servers as well under C Windows, Syswap 64 or C Windows System 32. It could be invoked from any location. So the Kerberos administrators will have to generate key tabs. There are many options that the ktpass utility accepts but I'm going to explain the minimum set of options that are required for creating the key tab files to be used with Power Center. So out option here would specify what is uh, the name of the key tab in which the service principal and its key should be stored. And map user would be the Active Directory user to which the particular service principal name that we are specifying in the prince, PRINC principal option should be mapped to. And pass is the password of this Active Directory user uh, to which we are mapping the service principal name. Crypto uh, option takes as input the cryptographic algorithm with which we want to generate the key. Currently RC4HMAC is the only supported cryptographic algorithm with power center. But if you specify crypto all, it in the same key tab file it will generate keys with different cryptographic algorithms and store it in the same key tab file. So although RC4HMAC is the only uh, supported type with power center and you can specify RC4HMAC here, we would usually recommend to have all so that it creates keys with all supported algorithms and places it in the key tab file. Now P type is the principal type and as all these are Kerberos 5 service principles, the type would be KRB5 underscore NT underscore principal. Now for example if you see here, uh, I have specified in the out parameter that the name of the key tab file should be underscore admin console dot key tab and I've also specified that the map user uh, would be admin console at realm name. The realm name is usercd.com the password for this admin console active directory user and the principal would be underscore admin console uh, this is a service principal which would be underscore admin console slash my node slash my domain at gcacd.com crypto would be all and p type would be krb5 nt principal this will generate the key tab file and store the keys in the key tab file now i would show a demo of where we run this command so i've logged into my kerberos server uh, you could log into any other server that can contact to the Kerberos server and generate a, a Kerberos key tab file but I've logged into the Kerberos server as I'm a Kerberos admin and uh, <coughs> I'm running the ktpass command as displayed in the PowerPoint presentation. Now when I run the ktpass command it would show me what is the domain controller to which it is connecting for um, authenticating this user and setting the uh, service principal name and it would say that it successfully mapped this particular service principal to th this particular user. This is the ad Active Directory user to which this particular service principal name is mapped. If you see in my principal name I might have specified the realm name but it would not map the realm name ktpass would not map the realm name uh, directly in the service principal name. But always remember that the realm name should be in uppercase whenever we specify it in the ktpass command or anywhere else in the Kerberos configuration files. The realm name should be in uppercase. So if you see here these are the list of algorithms supported by the Kerberos server which are DES, CBC, uh, CRC, MD5, RC4, HMAC, AES256, AES128 but Power Center supports only RC4, HMAC so this key tab file has keys pertaining to different cryptographic algorithms but Power Center picks the key that pertains to the RC4, HMAC algorithm so this algorithm can be specified for the crypto option instead of specifying the all option but we usually recommend to specify all so that the keys pertaining to all Kerberos server supported algorithms would be created in the same key tab file underscore admin console dot key tab. Now if we check the users here the service principal name property would be set and here is the service principal name 
without the realm name here and the same would be set as the user principal name also but along with the realm name and delegation has to be enabled for all these uh, service principal accounts that are used with power center so we would say trust this user for delegation for any service we'll click this option and we'll click ok now the key tab file would be created in the current location where uh, the command is run or you can e when you're running the command you can specify the path as well so here I've run the command uh, from this particular location so it has created underscore admin console key tab in this particular location now to list the contents of a key tab file we can run the klist command klist hyphen k hyphen t underscore admin console dot key tab when you run this command it would show me that it pertains to this service principal name the realm name and all the five entries you see are for the different five cryptographic algorithms that this Kerberos server has supported uh, because I have run uh, all as the option for cryptographic parameter it has created a key with all supported algorithms so there are five different supported algorithms by this Kerberos server and it has created key for all with all those cryptographic algorithms so in this video we have seen how to generate uh, the key tab file with the KT pass utility but more about the KT pass utility can be found in this Microsoft article and to list the contents of the key tab file you can run the following command KT list hyphen K hyphen T key tab file name and all the steps are documented in an Informatica text KB article 201304 how to generate key tab files to be used with power center server enabled with Kerberos authentication so to summarize we have learned how to generate key tab files to be used with power center server if we are enabling Kerberos authentication how to list the contents of the key tab file how to understand the output of the KT pass command when you are creating the key tab files we would love to hear from you you can write to us on support videos at informatica.com or you can follow us on our twitter account info support thank you